Hello YouTube, it's Tom and welcome to a new Sin Anatomy video. Today I want to give you a first look to the new Massive X 1.1 update. It's a nice update in my opinion with many improvements, but still there are many things to, uh, to improve and to add in my opinion. But still, it's a nice update, the 1.1, which brings several new features. The first one, they updated the preset manager. So you can see now on the left side here the different pre uh, preset designers. What I said before in my video that I'm missing this, this is now here included, what is very nice. So you can take here the different, um, from the different sound designers. And you can also now tag your favorite uh, presets. It doesn't work at my computer, I don't know, it's now a, a bug or so, let's see. But also you can um, choose them from the different categories like bass, brass, drums, flute and more. So the preset manager has been updated and it's quite good to see, but I think there are still uh, improvements to do. So let's see if they will do it in the future. Then we get also some new presets. So there are now 60 or even more new presets included. You will see this on the end of the video. I will play some of these presets. One other big improvement, we get some new skins. So on the on the top of the interface, beside Massive X, you go under view size, uh, the teams. So if you install Massive X now new or you bought it recently, you get this interface directly if you start it, but you can change it to a new dark one, which is very uh, dark, of course, not perfectly for myself, but it's, I think, a good alternative if you work in the night and you want to have it uh, very dark. So. That's nice. Then you have also a very light and that's super light. So, but still nice. Then we have also now new flat modes and the flat modes are according to native instruments, they consume less CPU. So it's um, better on processing and for older computers or not so powerful computers, it's uh, nice to have this. And I really like this new interface here because they are very simple and they are not so overflowed with colors. So that's nice to see. Then we have also a flat dark. And we have also a flat light. And all three flat uh, designs um, I really like here because they are a bit different and less oriented to um, a reactor instrument design. So nice done here. Uh, one other thing I noticed in my video before, what I'm missing and what is essential for synthesizer in 2019 are the visuals for the envelopes. And in 1.1 of the new update of Massive X, it's now finally included. So finally, because it was not included and I asked myself why a developer released a synthesizer in 1.0 without this major feature, which is a uh, very normal inner synthesizer of 2019. But now if you take the sound here, for example, if you turn now here attack, you will see the attack will change also visually. Also the decay. In my opinion, this is an important new feature for Massive X that makes it more usable and easy to use. And you can finally see how the envelope is set up. And of course, we should ask native instruments why they include this in Massive 1.0. But still, I'm happy to see that the envelopes have now visuals, what makes uh, the complete process more easy. Last but not least, Massive X 1.1 features also many new presets. So let's check out some of these new presets.
I hope you got a good overview of the new sounds included in Massive X 1.1 update. In my opinion, the sounds are better and they give you a better overview what Massive X can do. And they are lovely, more analog style sounds, but also crazy new sounds. So good job to the sound designers of Native Instruments. In total, I can say it's a nice update that improves Massive X a lot, but there are still many things to add and to improve. Some minor improvements to the preset browser would be nice, Wave table import would be great, and VST free support for all Native Instruments plugins. Native Instruments developers, Massive X with VST free support would be a good start. So let me in the comments below what you think about the new Massive X 1.1. Is it for you better now? Or what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Big thanks for watching and hope to see you very soon in one of the next videos. Bye!